Hello everybody. I just wanted to share with you my Timu diamond painting haul. And I went ahead and opened everything up already just to kind of save time so you don't have to see me straightening out all the canvases and whatnot. But I bought six diamond paintings, uh, my first light pad, and then also this new storage system that I'm gonna use for my diamond painting. So let's go ahead and get into it. So starting off, I wanna show you the new way I'm going to store my leftover drills. Before I was using those little plastic containers that had 28 slots in them, um, but it just it takes too many of them to be able to store the diamond painting. So I went ahead and kind of put everything in here already. So I bought these stickers that have the DMC codes right here. And then I already placed the stickers on each page. Now I just typed in baseball card holder or book or something like that, or like trading card book um, to find this. And this has 400 slots. Now there is 474 DMC colors. Um, so I have another one coming and obviously you can tell this book is very thick uh, featuring my girl Dallas here. <laughs> She's crushing the video, I guess. But um, anyways, so this, you can tell it's really thick. I have 400 diamond paint or diamond drill colors that can be in here. And basically all I did was I just placed the sticker starting at 150 um, and then on each page. And then you can do front and back. So there's a slot on the front of each page and another slot on the back. So you can actually do two drills back to back. But I just, for me, this way makes the most sense to store drills and it's not gonna take near as many as much space as like those big plastic containers. Um, so I have another book on the way to fit the remaining drills. Um, and then I can also place my AB drills in there as well. So actually definitely recommend this. This was $13.99 um, and then this was just a dollar and some change for the stickers. So next is my light pad. Now this is an A4, so it is small, um, but it was one of those lightning deals where you get a list of items and you can get up to 90% off on those items. So I got this for around $3 and it has three settings on it. So you just press the power. So it goes, it's off, dim, kind of like a medium and then bright. So I've never used one of these before, but I figured for $3, it's definitely worth a shot. Um, it came to wrap really well in like protective bubble wrap and then it had a protective coating on it as well that I peeled off. Um, but overall it's pretty good. It just came with um, a USB cord. And then I just took one of my boxes for my iPhone charger to plug it in. So getting started on my first diamond painting, I'm going to start with the smallest canvas and kind of work my way up. Now all of the diamond paintings came with just your standard green toolkit. Um, there's a couple that had plastic bags additionally, but they were all very standard, nothing really special out of those. Now this is a 30 by 30 canvas and this is the one I had the most doubt on. Um, just because of its size, I knew it wouldn't show up a lot of these details. Um, but given it being only a 30, 30 by 30 and the amount of details on this, I think it actually looks pretty good. Um, it obviously isn't going to be as clear as like a large canvas, but I think coming once it's all finished, it'll look okay. I did do another one of these with like the stained glass look that was a 30 by 30 and at first I wasn't so sure about it and then it actually came out pretty um obviously not as clear as if it was a larger canvas but it still comes out looking okay um so it's by no means going to be perfect but I think it will come out well there's 17 colors on here here is the package of the coloring um nice and labeled for us just all regular drills that are circular here. I also forgot to mention that this canvas was $3.14. So all of them are actually very good priced on Timu. 
Okay, here is my next canvas I purchased. It was $3.59. Um, it has 23 colors and it's a 30 by 40, which really 23 colors or anything above 20 colors for a 30 by 40 seems pretty good. Um, I'm usually pretty happy with that because usually they're around like 20 or 21 colors. But this is supposed to be another stained glass appearance. Um, I do think it looks really pretty and I think it's going to turn out very well. Um, the problem with these stained glass ones is when they're smaller, um, I never know if these little lines are going to come out, like these little stained glass lines. It looks like there's a slightly darker shade for these lines, so I'm hoping that they come out and you can kind of distinguish them somewhat. Um, but I do never know when I'm purchasing these stained glass if those are going to come out on these smaller canvases. Um, but I do have a lot of hope for this one, even if all of these don't necessarily come out. I still think the flowers and everything are going to be very pretty. Here is the drills. Very pretty as well. Nice and labeled for us in kind of your standard packaging. Um, definitely some pretty blues and... I do think that this canvas is going to turn out very well, especially for under under four dollars. Here is another 30 by 40 um, that is also three dollars and fifty nine cents. So this is a lovely picture of a little cat and some butterflies. Now this is a little bit different theme than what I normally go for, um, but I do have two lovely kitties and you've already seen Dallas here. Um, so I do have a love for cats and this girl is just so pretty so I thought I would give it a shot. There are 25 colors, which again, I think that's very good for 30 by 40, especially on kind of these inexpensive sites. But I do have a lot of hope. Now I know this one on the website did actually show this drill field, drill field in the advertisement. So I did know it was going to turn out pretty good. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing the finish project on this one. Um, it looks like there is a lot of very pretty colors, just your kind of standard packaging for this. Lots of oranges and neutral colors um, with your regular drills here. And I'm not gonna take out all of these. I know that takes like a million years long and we don't have time for that. But so far, I've been very happy with all of these diamond paintings that I purchased. I really do have hope that all of them are going to turn out well. Here is my next 30 by 40 in my last 30 by 40 size. And this is just a deer, a buck, if we're being specific, with um, these little flowery designs with a very dark background. Um, and I did see, there was a review for this one, so I did see the finished product. Um, it was very pretty. Obviously, it would turn out better if it was a larger size, but I think for it being a 30 by 40, it's pretty good. Um, it has 22 colors here, and I just, I don't know. I just, again, this is not necessarily the kind of theme I normally go for, but I just really loved the dark background. Um, I'm, I'm an avid hunter, so I do love deer and bucks and obviously flowers, but I just really thought that this one could turn out pretty well. Um, obviously not as clear as if it was a large canvas, but I still think it's going to turn out pretty. Now, here are the drills. Lots of very dark colors in your standard packaging. Um, there's going to be some colors for the flowers, but really it's lots of neutrals and just very dark black colors. Obviously, there's a lot of this 15 here, which is going to be the background, which is actually 939. So it's not 310 in the background, which I guess is pretty unique, but it is a very dark color. So this was $4.59. Um, still a really good deal, I think. Moving on to our largest sizes here. This is a 40 by 40. That was $6.29. Um, and I just absolutely loved the look of this deer. I love the dark background along with the colorful flowers. Turquoise is kind of my favorite color and it has a lot of those turquoise accents as well. 
This has 25 colors, which again, I do think that's pretty good. Uh, most of my diamond paintings do not have that many colors. Um, so I am very pleased with that. I do think this one's going to turn out very pretty. Um, this one did have on the website the picture of the drill field. Um, so I did know it was going to come out pretty decent. Uh, the only thing is some of these lines up here, you're not necessarily going to probably see those because it is so small, but I still think it's going to come out very pretty. Now here are our drills, which are packaged different. Um, this one actually wasn't labeled to match the canvas. So I'm going to have to kind of mark it myself, but these drills are not attached in like a string of the packages all lined up together. They're kind of just thrown in here and there's one with just a random bag that was like Ziploc. So that's kind of interesting. Um, it's not a big deal, but they're actually going to be labeled by the DMC number as well which for me, that's just a pain. I'd rather just see like one, two, three, four, whatever. Um, but I'm gonna have to kind of go by that and they're not gonna be in that order because they're not lined up. So it is gonna be a little extra work hitting these up, I think. Um, but regardless, there's lots of those pretty blues, pinks, and a lot of really dark colors as well. Um, so I'm very excited about this. Once I finish the one I'm working on, this will probably be the next one I go to. So I'm really excited to see how it turns out. Moving on with our very last canvas. Now this is a 40 by 50. Um, I will say what's kind of odd about this one is that the legend is on the top and the bottom rather than being on the sides here. And the drill field is actually designed to be this way, which I've never had a canvas like this before that was kind of designed this way. I mean, it's not a big deal by any means. Um, it's just something I kind of took note of because normally when they're faced like this, you know, they're going to start with the letters going this way and down. But I do think this is very pretty. This was $5.98 for this 40 by 50. Um, and I just thought it was absolutely beautiful. Now, there are 35 colors in this, which I think that is just fantastic. Um, I have not purchased any diamond paintings from Timu or Amazon of the size that had 35 colors. So I do think this is going to turn out very pretty. Um, I just have a thing for cows and I love my flowers as well. Um, this will probably be one I actually end up hanging up. Most of my canvases go in my portfolio. This one probably may actually make the wall because I just think it is so pretty. Here is the bags. Now these are actually already all packaged up in Ziploc bags, which I know some people really like that. Um, Cause technically you could just kind of just keep them in the bags if you wanted to kit up that way. Um, I normally don't, I put them in a little container system, but um, this is very nice. You could definitely tell that this was uh, better quality. The canvas was thicker and the plastic on top was a lot thicker as well. So you could just tell that this one was better quality than the other canvases. Um, but yeah, I have lots of neutrals, some colors for the flowers, but I do think this is going to come out extremely pretty. Um, but overall, that is the finish of my Timu haul. This is my third time purchasing diamond painting supplies from Timu. And honestly, this is probably the best one I've done yet. I just absolutely loved how everything turned out. Um, could not really complain here. Now I know there's lots of other YouTubers that do review Timu unboxing hauls um, and they all do a great job. But the reason I really wanted to post here and make my own was because I've noticed I have a very different style than kind of the other diamond painters. They do lots of like dolls and girls and people and that sort of thing and like partials. And that's just not necessarily my thing. Um, I do lots of animals, especially cows, deer, I love my farm animals. Um, and then I do a lot of like flowery scenes and I love the stained glass look as well. So I just wanted to kind of upload the canvases I purchased 
So if some of you have been looking at these and been debating on purchasing them or not, you can kind of see what they actually look like in person. Um, so that was kind of my mindset for posting here. So let me know if you would like to see more of my Timu diamond painting hauls. Um, I could also show some of the canvases I've purchased at other times, show you those um, or my stash, you know, just let me know what you want to see here. This is my first, my first attempt at this. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely am open to kind of posting more of my diamond painting content if you all are interested. So just let me know. Thank you.